Dip Trace Schematic lets you create single or multi-sheet schematics with or without using a hierarchy. Let's create an example of an easy hierarchical circuit. Right above the design area is the library bar. You can scroll left or right to find the right library from the library bar. When the library has been selected, the list on the left hand side of the window shows the components from that library. Let's select the microchip library. Right above the list of components, there's a search field. Just type pick 16 f 84 to find that component in the library. And to place it on the schematic, just left-click it, and then click again on the design area. Now let's select the discrete library and find the component cap. Note that the hotkeys R or space allow you to rotate the component before placing it. Then we add ground and power net ports and connect them to the appropriate pins of the integrated circuit and capacitor. The schematic has to have two or more sheets in order to use the hierarchy feature. The first sheet is always the main circuit. It's the top level of the hierarchy. Second and further sheets can be used for describing other hierarchical blocks. Now we'll add an MC74HC component on the second sheet. As you can see, it has four parts, three NAND gates, and a power part. By the way, you can place parts all at once, or one by one. Let's build an RS trigger. To move a part in the design area, select it with the left mouse button and drag it to the new location, then release the button. For adding connections between pins, left click on the first pin, then click on the next pin, and the connection will be created automatically. The hierarchical block can be connected to the main circuit using hierarchical pins, so let's add a few. The order of the pins in the block will be the same as it is on the sheet, and we can rotate them if we need to. It's possible to rename the hierarchical pins for better visualization, and the sheet name can be renamed as well. Now we'll switch to the first sheet and add two hierarchical blocks. Let's add the bus as well. It can be used for joining nets to one group and connecting pins on the bus. When connection from pin to bus has been added, it's possible to choose a net name from the bus or add a new net name. The name will be shown above the connection line. Note that connections with the same name will be automatically joined to the same net even if they're on different sheets, except if you're using hierarchical schematics. Buses on different sheets can be connected together with page connectors. We're not going to use page connectors on this schematic, but it's easy to do. Another way of adding connections without wires is using net ports. Two wires connected to the same net port will be joined to the same net. Notice when the mouse pointer is hovered over a wire, the whole net, including the pins, is highlighted. This is really useful when you're inspecting your schematic. Now we're done with this schematic and it's ready to go.